Hi, I'm Andre Mink of the founder of Trademark Factory. And in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts about yet another trademarking screw up. This screw up is brought to you courtesy of Trump derangement syndrome. And it's about some more trademarks that Ivanka managed to trademark in China. All right, let me start by reading from the article and you can always find the link in the description below. Ivanka Trump's shuttered fashion brand received preliminary approval on five trademarks in China this month, while the US and China continue to undergo tense trade negotiations. The uh, trademark applications were filed in 2016 and 2017 according to the Associated Press. One trademark for brokerage, charitable fundraising, and art valuation services was approved on January 6th. And for others, covering child care centers, sunglasses, wedding dresses, and more, gained approval Sunday. Pending any objections, the trademarks will be finalized in 90 days. Trump removed herself from the company when she entered the White House as her father's advisor in 2017, but was forced to close the brand in June 2018 due to declining sales and continuing questions of conflicts of interest. Despite the closure, Trump received 16 new trademarks from China's trademarks office in October, bringing the total number approved by China last year to 34, AP reports. Since many of these will last as late as 2028, Trump could benefit from the approvals if she resumes her business after leaving the White House. Oh, the horror! The public will continue to have to ask whether President Trump has made foreign policy decisions in the interest of his and his family's businesses, wrote Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, <laughs> a government watchdog group in November. Trump's representatives state that the trademarks are needed to protect her brand from copycats, a common practice in China, the AP reports. All right, I've already commented on this. Let me do this again. This is the perfect example of Trump derangement syndrome. Every time you see a piece of news that has Trump and trademark in it, it automatically becomes piece of news worthy of an article. Somebody saying how horrible it is that Trump or a member of his family are trying to protect the good name or a brand that they use for some business or some something that might become a business or certainly something that they want to prevent others from using as a name of their business. And uh, ever since Hillary lost her bid to become the president of the US, and the left went nuts about it, we see these articles pop up all the time. Trump trademarks this, Trump trademarks that, he trademarks this in this country, he trademarks that in this country, this country approves it, this country <laughs> rejects it. It's, it's, it's insane when we're getting all these news reports, all those journalists writing about this nonsense and making this into a story when really there is no story. Trump is doing everything right. He sees the value of the brand and he does what anybody who sees the value in the brand would do. They protect the brand and they protect it not necessarily to make a killing on it from the business side, but they protect the brand from being abused by others. That's what trademarks do. If I were to choose, I would definitely pick somebody who cares about their assets over somebody who doesn't. Can you just imagine the articles from the same journalists? Mind you, they don't really care what to write about it as long as it feeds their uh, derangement syndrome. Can you imagine their articles if somebody else were to trademark 
tr Trump's brands in China and other countries and then mock Trump by owning that trademark, they would be the first ones to write how stupid the president is for letting somebody else take over his last name or some other brands. So good for you, President Trump. You're doing the right thing. Say, same thing for uh, family members. A brand is valuable regardless of whether you're a president, a uh, business owner, entrepreneur. If there is value in your brand, you do the one thing with it. You protect it. And again, it's a no story, but I'm really getting tired of these articles popping up all the time. Now, if you found it interesting, if you found it useful, great. Subscribe now, get notified whenever the next one goes live. And if you didn't find this one useful or interesting, same thing. Subscribe because I post these videos every day and most of them do cover a pressing situation that has to do with trademarks. So like I said, subscribe now, get notified whenever the next one goes out. And if you voted for Trump, or if you voted for Hillary, or if you couldn't vote for either of them, if you have a brand that you want to protect, go to TrademarkFactory.com and book a call with our strategy advisors. And they'll figure out how we can help you protect your brand. And if you really, if you're the good fit to work with us. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.